want to say this. If you guys are eating meat products, if you're eating chicken, I'm going to ruin meat for you right now. Cows are GMO products made for us to eat. And when I say cows are a GMO product is cows didn't exist. Buffalo did. And there were no, there were no black and white species. And it's not just that. The cows that you're eating that are on the shelves today share 80% of our DNA. So it's a GMO product for you to consume. And it shares our fucking DNA. So you're basically eating a human. And it's not just that. If you're eating chicken, chicken is far worse. Chicken right now is like the number one, res- uh, it's, it's responsible. It's the number one cause for, I think it's colon cancer in men. Prostate cancer. One of those things. And the thing is, they don't tell you these things. And the reason that is, is because the average life of a chicken is supposed to be seven to eight years or six to six to eight years or something like that. But the thing is, the chicken is pumped up with chemicals and it's fully grown by day 40. So it can be chopped up and be ready shipped and consumed by day 50. So you have to understand none of these meat products are good unless you're the, the best thing that you can eat is wild caught fish from the ocean. But there's mercury poisoning. No, you're completely fine. As long as you're not eating anything farm raised and you're eating fish once in a while, that there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, like I, we choose not to do that. How to be vegan. Um, we're not even vegans. We're frugivores. We eat fruits. I'd still eat honey. That's not considered to be vegan. But I think that honey has some of the strongest properties because uh, as long as you're getting it from a good source, I think honey is transcending. 